Hi everybody. So today I will be making a demonstration of the Rogowski coil measurement. So the last film was about um, making a demonstration without um, using um, measuring direct current uh, through the Rogowski coil. So uh, my test set setup is now the um, laptop, um, the functional generator and the PLT uh, current device here. So, and also I have the Rogowski coil right here. So please first turn attention to the, um, to this functional generator. At the functional generator side, I have 30 kilohertz right now with uh, 20 volt peak to peak. Um, and I would just like to explain what we will be measuring. So here you can see um, there is one resistor attached directly to the output of the um, functional generator. So this is a 2.8 ohm resistor. I just made a very simple sketch over here. Okay, um, resulting in an effective voltage drop of 35 millivolts, which, re which is actually 125 milliamps effective current um, at this frequency of 30 kilohertz. So the peak to peak current is two times the square root of two uh, equals about 352 milliamps. So this is to be expected when we do the measurement inside the um, PLT software. And now for the spectrum, the spectrum is calculated as 20 times logarithm um, 125 milliamps divided by one, one amp, and we should be expecting about minus 18 dBAs there. Okay, um, so now please take a look at this uh, Rogowski coil over here. Um, which is of course attached to our device in the central uh, BNC, um, as we had in the previous film. So the Rogowski coil we are, we are dealing here with here is the adapted version, okay? The one that has uh, 200 um, millivolts, 20 millivolts per amp or two, two millivolts per amp. And first let us now attach um, this Rogowski coil to the uh, current that is coming out of the functional generator. So 125 milliamps. And um, now it's still turned off. Please take a look now at the, um, at the um, screen, at the laptop. Okay, right now we're not still seeing any significant uh, signal, but let us turn on the, um, I just turned on now the uh, Rogowski coil. Um, amplifier and here we are now seeing a peak right in the and please note that I have pre-selected 200 millivolts per amp okay so let us see what this peak is uh, like uh, we told you it should be around 18 um, yeah minus 18 and that's exactly what we are seeing so the peak at uh, at um, 30 kilohertz is at minus 18 dBA, okay? Now, let us also take a look at the oscilloscope, okay? Um, so, in the oscilloscope, if you still remember, we predicted a peak-to-peak -peak, um, uh, current of 352 milliamps, okay? And I think this is exactly, or maybe around that, we are seeing around that, okay? So, plus... Um, um, 158, 55 somewhere and minus the same. So yeah, um, now this demonstrate direct, demonstrates direct measurements uh, from the Rigolsky coil. Now, the question is whether, um, please let's turn attention to the uh, Rigolsky coil again. The question was whether um, this adapted version with the more sensitive output is better or not. So the answer would be it's better, but only uh, when measuring very, very small currents. It's impossible to say what types of currents um, uh, utilities will be using here, but um, both can be used. So also the other one um, that was provided, so this one over here um, is also good. The only uh, drawback is that um, it can measure um, not so small currents, okay? Now the question is whether they will be measuring such uh, small currents or not. And also note that in this, in this input here, we have a maximum voltage we can cover, which is not two volts peak to peak, but four volts peak to peak, because there is a, 
um, uh, inside, um, there's an attenuation of 6 dB. Um, so 4 volts peak to peak. Um, the ranges can, can all be covered. So here the range is 200 amps, uh, 2000 amps, and over here the range is, um, is 1000 amp. Okay, so 1000 amp in this case would mean um, uh, 2 volts, okay? And over here, 2000 would mean uh, two volts just as well. So basically, it's just about small currents. So yeah, thank you for, for your attention.